What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using an Iron Valiant team for Regulation D. Iron Valiant is one of my favorite Pokemons that is coming out in Scarlet and Violet, and I'm super excited to be using it considering I haven't used it in Regulation D. This team also features Pokemon like Chi Yu, also Shen Pao, and then you got Dragonite, Bulboom, and Gastron. Got a lot of different versatility towards this team. Really do like it. Hopefully, we get to grab some wins for you guys. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Iron Valiant is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about. And usually, I'm used to using Iron Valiant with like more of a hyper offensive build. But this one's here for more so support and playing a little bit more on the defensive side. It's got Quirk Drive alongside with Booster Energy as item. And then this moveset is Dazzling Gleam, Wide Guard, Icy Wind, and Quick Guard. So you can stop first turn priority moves with Quick Guard. You can stop double hitting moves with Wide Guard. Plus you have Speed Control and then you have a single hitting move with Dazzling Gleam. So really am liking this moveset. I feel like it's going to be very situational. But, the, but at the same time, this Iron Valiant brings a lot of value to the team. Chiyu is going to be our second Pokemon. Paired up with the Choice Scarf as an item, this thing is crazy strong. It's got Heat Wave alongside with Dark Pulse with Overheat and Terror Blast for its moveset. In our third slot, we got the one and only Shen Pao. We also have Dragonite on this team. You guys know how deadly that combo is. Shen Pao has Swords of Ruin and the Focus Sash with Icicle Crash, Sacred Sword, Sucker Punch, and Protect. In our fourth slot, we got the Dragonite, Shen Pao's best friend in today's video with Inner Focus and the Choice Band as its item. It's got E Speed with the normal terror type, Stomp and Cantrum, Aqua Jet, and Outrage. You guys seen this uh, moveset plenty of times before. In our fifth slot, we got Rollaboom, and I absolutely love Rollaboom in the meta right now. I absolutely love this Pokemon. It's got Grassy Surge alongside with the Assault Vest, Wood Hammer, Stomp and Cantrum, Fake Out, and U Turn for a great moveset. Back in Sword and Shield, Rillaboom used to be super, super OP due to uh, the move Grassy Glide, pairing it up with this Grassy Surge ability. It was just super, super strong. And now that they balance out Rillaboom, I think he's in the most perfect place it has ever been in the competitive scene. It's not too strong. It's not too weak. He's still very strong at the same time. Absolutely love this Pokemon right here. In our final slot, we got Storm Drain Gash Thunder up here. Really good Pokemon to have on team, especially up against rain teams that are so big in the meta right now. It has Citrus Berry as item with Earth Power, Ice Beam, Helping Hand, and Protect as its moves. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Let's well, code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Regulation D Iron Valiant team. First match is on its way for today's video. We're going up against a half Trick Room, half Shen Pao Dragon team. They got Ursaluna and Cresselia and Heatran for the Trick Room side of things. And then they also have Fluttermane, Dragonite, and Shen Pao for the hyper offensive side of things. So they can go either way with this one. Who should I lead? How should I get after this one? Um, double hitting moves I'm not too worried about. So maybe I might not even bring Iron Valiant in here. I mean, I do have Dazzling Gleam. I kind of want to see its stats with high speed and high HP. That's kind of what I thought it would be. It's kind of there to just be bulky, to drop speed stats, quick guard, wide guard. I don't really think we need him in this matchup. Well, actually, maybe if they go trick, if they do decide to go trick, that would be the issue. That would be the only, that would be the only reason I would want Iron Valiant. But from here, I don't think we're going to want Iron Valiant. I'm just going to go into Chiyu as a nice little lead with that choice scarf. And then I'm also going to lead, I think Rillaboom is going to be a solid lead, especially with Fake Out. So Rillaboom, Chiyu, alongside with Dragonite, Shen Pao in the back end. I think that's our best bet. They got no fake out users. They got none of that. So I'm just going to get things started off hot here by leading these Pokemon right here. I can fake out. I can outspeed with Chiyu, get off some big time damage, and kind of roll out from there. But I know in the last video, we grabbed ourselves a losing record. Played a little rough. RNG did us a little dirty, but I'm here for a little bit of revenge. I'm going for a win, trying to get things started off here hot in today's video. So, again, hopefully we can do this one. Hopefully no glitches, because if you guys watched the last video, it was uh, it had, a, it had a few glitches in there, which was kind of funny. But they ended up leading Crest and Cresselia, and... Okay, Crest could definitely Terrasilize here. I could definitely see that happening. Um, We're going to fake it out. I'm going to hope it's not Cobra Cloaked. That would be a little bit of a problem, but I am going to choice into Dark Pulse. I just think that's going to be my best bet. Fluttermane's going to Pro Synthesis Boost alongside with that... uh. With that, what's it called? Hmm. Do I Terra Blast? I think I just go Terra. And then Terra Blast. I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it. But then I have the choice. And that's the problem. I think choice into that's going to be your best bet. So you know what? I'm going to do it. We're going to choice in Terra Blast. I'm going to look to just get rid of Fluttermane here. So I'm going to fake out the uh, Cretelia. I'm going to... 
Terra Blast down the Fluttermane, and if Fluttermane does not Thrasize, we pick up an easy KO. A no problem KO, unless it's Sashed, unless it's Sashed. A few Fluttermanes are Sashed. But we'll see what they want to do. We should outspeed Fluttermane all day with the Chewy Scarf. It's Protosynthesis that this boost was not into uh, speed, which is really good for us. And from here, we get the Fake Out Crest. No Terra from the Fluttermane, and Terra Blast gets to fly out from here. From my boy Chiyu, and again, if you're not Sashed, you're gone. And you're not Sash, you're already boosted already. Never mind. What am I thinking? You're Sash. You're gone. Get it on out of here. Hopefully, no Cobra Cloak is here so Cresselia can just be flinched this turn and we can get after it this way. Yep, cool. It's probably Mental Herb like most Cresses are. So we flinch the Crest, we pick up an easy KO onto Fluttermane. Big time terror from us. And now Shen Pao is going to fly out here. I don't like that. I, I, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that because now I'm going to have to hard swap you. Now I have to hard swap you because if you're going for Sucker Punch, it's just gonna KO my Chiyu. So from here, I'm gonna swap into Dragonite, and I might just U-turn Pivot. Into Shen Pao, yeah. I'm gonna U-turn Pivot. I'm gonna hard swap into Dragonite. I'm gonna use my multi-scale, because chances are you're going for a Sucker Punch into the Chiyu slot, right? And now's the time where I wish I had Iron Valiant, just to, like quick guard that. <laughs> it could've came up clutch, but I think we're fine. He's gonna actually Ice Spinner me down. That kinda hurts. Can we eat that? You can eat that. That's why we love Roboom. Why we love Robin. He's so bulky. A bulky little boy. So now I can U turn pivot here. Do some nice damage on the Shen Pao. And I wonder what Crest is doing. I'm kind of curious to see what the Crest is going to do here. I'm curious. But now I get to go into Shen Pao of my own. We can roll out strong from here. We can roll out strong. We're just going to Lunar Blossom. Okay, that's totally fine. So we did take off Sash of Shen Pao, which is good if it's rocking it, like most Shen Pals are. And from here, I'm thinking instead of E-speeding, I think I'm just choosing into an Outrage. Not even gonna lie. <laughs> I think just choosing into Outrage is gonna be my play. And maybe just... Sacred Sorting down this slot? Hmm. I think I might just protect my Shen Pao, see what he wants to do. Actually, I could just double down in this one. Cause chances are he might just—he's gonna tear a ghost here. He's gonna tear a ghost. I'm gonna—I'm gonna sucker punch Shen Pao. I think he's gonna tear a ghost. I'm sucker punching that slot. I'm not playing around. Show me tear a ghost. Show me tear a ghost. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy of a read. That's too easy of a read. Good thing I thought that one through. Good thing I thought that one through. Sucker punch can now come out here. See you later. See you later. That's too easy to read. Big time reads from Jeans. And now we're outraging with the choice span, the stab damage, and also the Shen Pao boost next to it. This should do a huge chunk of damage. We actually got ripped by this uh, in the last video as well. Like, look how much damage that does. Just does an absurd amount of damage. But he's going to end up ice beaming me. I think we can out bulk that one. And no freezes? Ooh, no freezes. Dragonite's going to be the final Pokemon, and he might be able to KO me with an E speed. But since he wasted Terra already, I can just go Icicle Crash this slot, and we're, we can Outrage the Crest slot, which is already locked in. But a big time read from us, we still have all four of our Pokemon, we have Chiyu at full health in the back end, and we miss an Icicle Crash. That is why I like to have Ice Spinner a little bit more. And he goes for an Iron Head. Let's dash up. Dude, that, that sucks, we just missed an Icicle Crash. <laughs> that really does. Now our Outrage Fly is going to get rid of the Crest, and hopefully we get one more turn out of this, instead of being confused here. Would be lovely. Or are we gonna get ducked? No, we did not get ducked. Cool. So now I can go Outrage here and Ice will crash again. This match pretty much wraps. They cancel the battle. We grab ourselves a nice little sweep in match number one. Dominating, making some good reads at the same time. Second match is coming at you guys. And I told you guys in the first one, I'm here to play today. I'm here to play. We start off real hot in match number one. Dominating, grabbing you guys a sweep. And now we're hopping into a harder match here. Going up against... Hisumi Guja, Regilecki, Tornadus, and then Urshifu. Well, not Urshifu. Oh, yeah, they do have Urshifu, but I meant to say Ursaluna. And then, uh, last but not least, they have Heatran. I feel like Ursaluna is only there to kind of go up against Trick Room teams. So I really do not see us seeing Ursaluna in the second match. But I definitely see us seeing uh, Tornadus and Urshifu. Those are two 100% going to be coming in here. But from here, what should I do? What should I do? They have no fake out users. Do I want to go into Valiant here? I kind of want to use Valiant. I got wide guard, I can block E webs, I can icy wind, and also go quick guard in case like uh, aqua jets are gonna come through here. 
So I do like Iron Valiant, and I am going to end up beating that Pokemon. So I'm going to go Valiant here. I might also go Chiyu here with the Choice Scarf. Nice, lovely little lead that Pokemon did some work in the last match for us. And yeah, I think that's a good, I think that's a fine lead for us. I think that's a fine lead for us. So I'm going to go in with them too, and then S back in Pokemon. Shen Pao Dragon, it is. Can't go wrong with the meta Pokemon, right? They're so strong. They are so strong. And like, I hate using the meta, but like if I'm using a team with them, Mine just will use them, especially when I'm making a video for you guys. I know you guys like to see some good teams at sometimes, but yeah, meta kind of gets boring for me personally, real quick, real quick, especially one like this, where it's like, this one is so strong, you cannot counter it that much, right? It's just that strong. So they end up going into these two. Um, we have decent speed here. Um, what do I do? What do I do? Do I terrestrialize? Oh, that's a darker Shifu, actually. I thought it was the water one. Okay, so we can't sucker punch, but... I mean, we chilling. We chilling. Uh, I could go gleam. I could go icy wind. I could actually wide guard because Eweb could come out here. Eweb could definitely come out here. So you know what? I am gonna go into a wide guard, and I'm just gonna heat wave across the board. I'm just gonna heat wave this. Let's do this. So I'm gonna wide guard, predicting the Eweb. I think he should be fine here. The wide guard coming out from the Valiant, who looks so sick, especially shiny. Looks so good. And there's the E-Web. So good wide guard from us. They're probably not going to go into E-Web next turn. But we get off a nice little block here at turn one. Good read from Jeans. Good read from Jeans. My, my reads are doing good today. E-Web's going to fly me out speed. Can we get a burn on Urshfu? Oh my god, look at the damage. Absurd amount of damage. Give me some burns. Give me some burns. Give me some burns. No burns. And I get close combat it and dropped. That's fine. I was going to Terrasalize Ghost there too. But my thought process was really like, okay, like, what if it goes into a dark move later? Just chaos me. But I really like what we just did there. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So from here, I think Dragonite's going to be your play. Dragonite's just a solid play. Just so I can E-speed and get rid of, uh, get rid of Regilecki if need be. And then I could just add something across the board. Yeah, because I know Valiant does outspeed. And I like choosing into E-speed at this point. So I'm not going to waste my terror just yet. I'm not going to waste my terror just yet. But I'm still just going to go into E-Speed. So, big time wide guard turn one. Though. That was actually really good. Because if we did not get off that wide guard, Urshfu might have been able to outspeed my... My Chiyu. Actually, probably not. But still, Chiyu got off some big time damage. And if I would have terror Ghost, that would have been play of the year. That would have been play of the year there. So, eventually, like, it's going to protect. That's totally fine by me. I don't really mind that too much. Because Valiant can outspeed the Urshi. Unless Urshi's going for Sucker Punch, which would be a smart play. Let's see what it ends up doing. It does not. Cool. So Urshi's just going to go down here. We'll take that all day. We get rid of Urshfu and now we're thriving. Good old boost of energy out from the Iron Valiant. Going to start off pretty strong here. So from here, who do we think they're going to go into? I couldn't tell you actually. Gujo. Ooh, ooh, we don't we we do not like that. We we simply do not like that. I wish I had taunt. I have a lot of physical attackers here. So from here, I gotta go into the, the gleam here. Do I just uh, mm, I might wanna swap you? I can't I can't swap you. Oh I'm gonna have to swap him later. It really hurts. I'm just gonna go for the E-Speed. Keep it the, keep it in that slot. I wonder if they're gonna sacrifice the Regilecki. You know, Terrasla. Is that gonna be Gudra in the Terra? Who's Terrasalizing? Gudra. I was gonna say, is Regilecki really ghost type? He's gonna Terrasalize into straight fairy. That is a terrible typing for us. I don't really think I have any ways to counter this Gudra. With that Terra type? I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. This thing is going to be a bulk thing. That's a nice chunk of damage. But he's going to end up going for a Terror Blast, which I should be able to soak this. All right, Dragonite. Cool. The good thing it didn't bulk up. I'm scared of just that this thing going sheltering and just boosting defense like crazy. That's what scares me. So from here, I might just start targeting down the Gudra. I might target down the Gudra. Let's see who they end up throwing out here. It's their final Pokemon. Because Gudra can win them this match. Hands down. If I don't get rid of it soon, Gudra can just straight up win this match. 
So Heatran's gonna come out here. Um, am I worried about Heatran? Not really. I have Sacred Sword to get some damage off on that. But still, ooh, the wide guard here. Probably, maybe. I think I, I think I'm just gonna double down in this thing. I think I'm just keep whacking at this thing. Yeah, let's just let's just whack a Gujra here. Let's just whack a Gujra because I'm pretty sure my my uh my Shen Pao by itself could uh get off some big time damage on what's it called on the Heatran. This thing has Gooey. My speed's gonna drop. That's fine. I'm just e speeding. That's what things gonna fly through here. Yeah, we're chunking up some nice damage. I'm gonna go for a flash cannon. Can you soak this? Cannot. Oh, you get a crit. That that sucks, man. I had a feeling we could soak that. Don't shelter. Go for terror blast. Do not shelter. Go for terror blast. Okay, that's fine. Flash cannon can die here. That's actually gonna kill me, isn't it? All right, now we got a match. Now we have a match on our hands. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? I feel like I have to get rid of Gudra. Got my boy Shen Pao. I don't think I can one shot the Heatran. That's the problem. So I think my play would be to get rid of Gudra. I have to get rid of Gudra here. I'll, I'll ISO crash. I'll say that this is going to land because that's all I got to KO the Gudra. This lands with KO the Gudra. I don't think Gudra. Gudra might have protect. But I feel like I have to KO this thing right here. And have Heatran hit me, trigger my sash, and then do some life orb damage. And then we can go from there. Cool. So it did not protect. It should KO. Cool. And now Heatran's going to go for a Heat Wave. It could potentially miss. Heat Wave has a decent chance of missing. I miss my Heat Waves all the time. So hopefully we get some RNG luck here. That would help us out here. Magma Storm. Never mind. Magma Storm scared of the move. No Heat Wave coming out here. That brings me down to Sash. And it gets another crit. Phew. Crit's on deck. So I have my Sash. This thing is going to lose life orb damage, which is pretty good for us. Oh, and I get trapped. Oh, no. I don't even get a chance. I don't even get a chance. There's a magma storm. Why couldn't you have heat wave like any other heat train? Don't even give me a chance to sacred sword for the KO. But, hey, that's the game. We go one and one Solid little match in match number two. Let's hop to a third and grab you guys a winning record. Final match is on its way. Let's go 2-1 and, and grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against Sneasler team alongside with Rain. A little bit of Rain, I should say, because Tornadus can pop Rain Dance because they have Bash Swift Swim Bash Legion. They got the Sneasler in DD combo. And then they also have Chiyu for some high special attack. And Amoongus for some support. Forgot to mention him. But Sneasler and Indeedee is kind of the combo that I'm a little worried about. I do not have Ice Spinner to get rid of the terrain, so that kind of sucks. But uh, Chiyu might be a great lead for me. I really do like Chiyu. I could block fake outs also with Iron Valiant. So I could go Valiant. I could also go in with Chiyu. I just like the speed there. I like the damage output. I like the speed. I love it all around. And this match might be a good time for Gastrodon to shine. So I'm going to bring Gastrodon. And last but not least, Shen Pao on its own is going to be great. So my boy Gastro coming in here with the Storm Dream. Loving this little booger. I love Gastrodon. I, I absolutely love this Pokemon. Just a giant sea slug. But I said this, uh, I think, when I was recording, like, my Legends Arceus playthrough. Like, because it, uh, it was just, like, Gujas, like, washed up on the beach, like, slugging around. But, like, imagine if you were at a beach and you seen one of those things. It would scare the heck out of you. Like, a five-foot-tall, I don't even think they're five-foot, probably, like, four-foot-tall slug. Monstrous. Just walking around. I think it would be absurd. It would be absurd. Just moping around on the beach. <laughs> like, could you imagine? Like, they, they look cute in this game, but no shot you see one in real life. You're like, hey, I want to pet those things. Like, nah, <laughs> yo. I kind of want a Gashadon plush. Could you imagine, like, a three-foot Gashadon plush? That's sick. That would be sick. But uh, from here, as a nice little lead, I could choice to a nice little Dark Pulse, which I, I'm thinking of doing. Or I could just go Heat Wave across the board. I kind of like Heat Wave a little bit better. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm trying to remember... Sneezler's moves, and I do remember them. So, you know what? I'm actually going to Terrasalize, because I know this thing's rocking like close combat, and I'm going to Heat Wave. So, I'm going to do that, and on top of that, if I can Ice you and just slow down Sneezler later, that could be good for me. So, I'm Terrasalize, hoping that the close combat's coming in. That'd be a nice little Terra. We're learning from our past battle mistakes. We should have Terrasalized Chiyu last turn, because Urshfu dumped on it. So, we're hoping the close combat's flying into uh, Chiyu again. It would be lovely. Would be a lovely little sight. The follow me comes out here. 
And show me the close combat from the Sneezy. Oh yeah, yo, like I said, we learned from our past mistakes. Great reads from Jeans here. Icy one's gonna slow down Sneezler, so next turn, Q can actually outspeed the Sneezler. And actually, Iron Valiant might be able to outspeed it later, too. And Heat Wave Slime, so big time damage coming across the board. We love it. Any burns? No burns. But from here, it's a pretty simple play again. We're just gonna go Heat Wave, and I'm just gonna Icy one again. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. I probably should have gleamed, but it's all good. It's all good. I'm gonna Icy Wind just in case of swap. We could definitely see a swap. So if I could slow down any Pokemon and swap in, that'd be big. I know, we should go for Help in Hand. I don't think you're outspeeding me, my guy. Sneezer, I don't think you got it in you. Hold you. You do not have it in you. We're gonna, can we just land this Heat Wave, please? Chiyu. I got faith in you. I got so much faith in you to land this Heat Wave. Chiyu. Hit the Sneezer. Hit the Sneezer. Chiyu. What are you doing? Oh, my heart. Yo, me and my heat waves are just ugly. My Valiant now gets dumped on for no reason. It didn't have to be this way. You just had to hit the Sneasler. You could have missed the Indeedee. You could have just missed the Indeedee. But from here, I am going to save my Gaston just in case the Rain Squad does want to come out here. And I'm going to bring out Shen Pao. You kidding me? I missed my heat wave? The good thing Sneasler is slowed up. Because that's just big time for us. And he's going to end up throwing out Tornadus. Tour Nautis. And I mean, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna drop this Heat Wave and I'm just gonna go into an Ice Crash. We might actually swap the Sneasel here. I would not be surprised to see a swap of the Sneasel into the Bash Legion. But I'm still popping Heat Wave. I don't care what they say. We're going Heat Waves all day long. Did we really miss that Heat Wave? That better not lose me the match because Sneasel should be a goner. Me and my Heat Waves recently. This have not been, we haven't been on the same page. I, I think I gotta take Heat Wave out to dinner and kind of get going that way. Well, he's gonna end up tailwinding. It's fine by me. And the Sneezer are gonna get a turn. I'm gonna go for a Rock Slide. Who's dodging it? Of course, he hits my Shen Pao. I'd rather him hit my Chiyu there. Heat Wave now flies. We're gonna pick up a double KO here. As long as Icicle Crash lands. Can you land? Can you land, please? That's all I need. Do what my opponent's move do, and land. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that's all I ask for, is for my moves to land. So we land those moves, and this pretty much wraps up the match. They do have a Tailwind going here. We got some good Pokemon here, and their final Pokemon is gonna be Bash Legion. Ooh, Fishy Fish, but still, my uh, my Gastric can get some work done on that. So I'm choosing the Heat Wave here. I'm gonna stick with it, and I'm gonna go for a Sacred Sword. Yeah, let's see what t what terror type he's going into. I was gonna sucker punch, predicting ghosts. I should have sucker punched. All right, let's see what what type he goes into. Let me straight fire. Okay, I got storm drain. I got the gastro in the back end. Gastro's got that earth power. He can rip up some big time damage on that thing. And he's kind of bulky, so heat wave's gonna fly. Look at that. Do you, you see what I see here? Their heat waves land all the time, all the time. Watch, I'm gonna miss my heat wave here. I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, I didn't. I like that damage. A little bit of damage there. Now I get to bring out my best friend. The slug. Gastro. Coming in here. Love him. Once I saw the team, I was like, oh, I'm happy to bring out Gastro. But from here, I'm going to drop Heat Wave. And I got the EP, Earth Power, coming in hot here to finish this match off here. Heat Wave's going to fly here. And this shouldn't even do half to my Gastro, correct? About half. We can survive another one, which is good. Even though I think Earth Power should just finish this one up. One shot, no problem, because she's not that bulky at all. Nice little stab, super effective earth power. Should say night night to the fish and grab us a winning record. Yes, sir. There it is. Nice, lovely 2-1 winning record for you guys. I told you guys. I was going to make it up to you guys for that poor performance in the last video. And here it is. 2-1, lovely winning record for you guys. Got to use Iron Valiant actually really well. Pulled off some nice wide guards. Got some nice icy wins in match number 3. That's and lean picking up a few KOs. Absolutely loved it, especially with this moveset in Regulation D. We had, obviously had the Shen Pao, Chiyu, and Dragonite carrying us. Real Boom got some work done. And also Gastron coming in that third and final match. Cleaning up the victory and guarantee yourselves that winning record. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously. You guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.